Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Kickstream on Streamlabs for 4K streaming in 2023. Kickstream is a powerful streaming tool that enhances your streaming experience and Streamlabs of course is a popular platform or app for streaming. So by combining capabilities of Kickstream and Streamlabs, you can achieve high quality for streaming. Uh, so in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps to set up your Kickstream on Streamlabs and optimize your stream settings for 4K resolution. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. So for us, we'll need two tabs. The first tab is just go and type on it stream labs and hit the enter button. Make sure to go to this first link and make sure to go and download the stream labs on your PC if you don't have it. If you have it, this will be already good. But if you don't, make sure to go and download it. Once it's downloaded, go and install it up. And once it's installed, of course, you'll find yourself with the home screen. You'll have to answer if you're going to uh, do it or to use stream labs for recording or streaming. You can go and uh, click on streaming. And of course, you'll be able to import your settings from OBS if you want to. If you don't want to, you'll be able to start doing that uh, manually. And of course, you'll have to go and connect your accounts from Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Trovo, or any other platforms that you didn't find this year. For us, we would like kick, so we'll simply hit skip and we'll normally find ourselves here. Now, you'll have to go and open a new tab, as I said. Go to kick.com and make sure to go and log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't have an account, simply go and log in into a new account. And simply, you'll have now to go and click at the top right corner at your account if you already logged in into your account. So as you click at your icon at the top right corner, make sure to click on creator dashboard. Here, as you can see, you'll find your streaming info and a lot of other stuff. Of course, if you don't know how to use Kick, you will find the video on this channel or a lot of videos on the channel, how to use it, how to stream other than Streamlabs and a lot of other stuff. So go back to Streamlabs here. And of course, here you can simply go to the settings at the top uh, or a bottom right corner. And as you can see here, you will have to go to stream. Of course, if you want, you can even go and get yourself a better version of Streamlabs, which is the Ultra. Of course, you can simply pay $150 per year and you will get a lot of features if you want as you can see you'll find all the features here so you can go and get them for us we'll have to go and click on stream and of course for you you'll normally find your stream streaming service here we will not choose that because this will not include kick as you can see you will find just twitch youtube facebook live restream your twitter and uh, those stuff for us, we will have to choose custom streaming server and here we will have to get this URL and stream key from our kick stream. So go to this settings, click on it and click on stream key. And as you can see, you'll find the stream key, make sure, uh, stream URLs, make sure to copy that out and go here to the settings and paste it here. Go and copy the stream key also from uh, the kick and go back to Streamlabs and paste it here. Once you're done, click on done. And of course, now we'll have to go through the settings that will get your stream to the best quality. So of course, we can go through this whole stream. So of course, this general will be just depending on your preferences. So make sure to go and adjust those. Normally, my settings is already adjusted from because it's imported from OBS. But of course, for you, you can go and go through that manually. So what we care about normally the stream is sets. Of course, you can even use some authentication if you don't want like anyone using your PC can open up your stream. You can use some username password if you want, like just use uh, that's just the ones who knows the password. So you can, uh, as an example, start to on another PC with the username and password. So you can do that. Now we'll have to go to outputs. And of course, if this output mode is simple, make sure to go and select advanced. And then on the streaming, make sure to go and select like the audio track one. And here this encoder, I normally use this one. Of course, for you, you can go choose other ones and of course you can go and start your recording example or streaming and check if everything is working correctly now of course this bit rate make sure to have it more than one uh, thousand uh, because the 4k will require some bit rate so make sure to select 10,000 6,000 anyway something uh, a lot and of course the presets should be max quality here and uh, this max quality will allow you to stream with the max quality which is normally 4k and especially if you have this ultra option and of course uh, if you have like some issues or your pc if it's slowed down or something you can simply go to performance if you want to or quality then make sure to profile to set it on high of course those other options are not very necessarily so you can go and let them as it is the audio of course the audio will be uh, dependent on what you like here depending on what you want uh, the stream to be on 
and a lot of other stuff on video of course make sure to select the uh, top resolution on the base and even on the output uh, because the output normally you'll find it's on something here so make sure to select the top one which is 1920x1080 and of course the down uh, scale filter normally it's going to be this fastest but blurry if scaling uh, normally it's going to be this but of course you can even choose this sharpness scaling or, or which is 32 samples of course so normally if you want to stream for 4k you would like to get of course like the best uh, pc so if you have a, a guess a best pc or not basically a best pc so you'll have you'll need the decent pc like a good pc and of course a good uh, connection so you'll be able to stream with that and of course this will not make any problem if you have a good pc make sure to go and choose that with fractional vps value or even this integer fps value will be good the fps value make sure to set it on 120 and of course you can even set some hotkeys if you want to start streaming or stop streaming and without even any problems if you don't want like to go back always to stream labs and uh, go live or end stream from here you can simply uh, set up some hotkeys for you so for example i'm just going to put like uh, i don't know i'm just going to put like control one and stop streaming i'm just going to put control one also and of course i can even adjust some advanced uh, option so you can uh, uh, like do whatever suits you here so you can go and go through that and check whatever suits you of course the same is going to be for scene collection notification appearance uh, remote control virtual webcam game overplay and of course this get support is not very important As unless you're having a problem you can simply go and get and get to the support and you'll be able to they will be able to fix your problem as you can see here from ultra that's for just the plan if you want to get it and you are normally set up to start so now what we'll need to do of course is simply click on control one to start the live or simply click on a go live from here so as you can see now if i go to my browser and go to the stream as you can see the stream will start too so as you can see you will find even the 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 comments here as you can see so we'll have to wait maybe 10 seconds because there's always a delay and as you can see the stream will start now so it's refreshing and it should start right away so i'm just gonna mute it so because i'm hearing my voice uh, uh, twice so as you can see this is gonna be the stream and if i click on full screen this is gonna be the stream because i'm streaming this so you may not notice the difference and as you can see here i have the full quality is uh just full hd why it's not 4k because actually because i don't have the ultra as i said before so you'll have to go and get this ultra plan if you want to stream with 4k and of course and now i'm streaming with just the best quality that i have for free so if you want the ultra or if you want the 4k you will have to go get the ultra and you will get your stream with the 4k or the best quality so of course if you want to end the stream i can simply click on end stream here or control one both will stop the stream and as you can see if you go down here this maybe it should take like 10 seconds or five seconds then it will stop as you can see the channel is currently offline and the channel goes offline now i'm not streaming anymore and you can always start stream or turn the stream off whenever you want from stream labs with the hotkey that you set or from this button right here you can even start the recording while you are streaming or off the stream if you want to depending on whatever you want so and that's gonna basically it so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you have successfully set up your kick stream on streamlabs for 4k streaming in 2023 so by following the steps uh, to install like the kick stream plugin you have to can oh sorry not the plugin of course there is a plugin or an app if you want to install it of course in streamlabs of kick but we didn't use that at the moment so for you of course you can go uh, you can provide your viewers with an immersive streaming experience remember to stay of course updated with the last features and updates from kickstream and streamlabs to make the most out of your streaming setup so thank you for watching and happy streaming in your 4k with kick uh, stream and streamlabs so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one and i will see you in the next video